with championships and careers on the line, we welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to the first live premiere event of the season. Welcome to WWE Backlash. I think Brock Lesnar is still eyeing up the wood of the table. Lesnar wants to put the exclamation point in this match. Through the table goes Lashley. Cody trying to get back to his feet. Theory's locked and loaded. Oh my goodness! A crossroads on Cody Rhodes! Theory using the American Nightmares! Oh, move against them! But Cody gets out of it again! Now, what a great matchup this has been. The women's championship means so much to everybody in this division, especially the woman who nails the hip attack on Alexa into the cover. John Cena getting brought to his feet. His body's there, but nobody's home. And Cena gets laid out with the Claymore kick. Main event is Cena's once again. All no set his eyes on the announce table. McIntyre. Attitude adjustment through the announce table. It is a big fight feel. All or nothing in your main event. The WWE Championship. A spot on Monday Night Raw and leaving this story of former friendship behind. Oh, wait a minute. Riddle's got Randy Orton lying on the wood of that table. The Viper in a precarious situation as the bro is heading to the top row. Frog splash through the table. And now Riddle eats the cell wall again. And oh my God! He's trying to open up that wound of Riddle even more. Oh no, RKO! The RKO on top of Hell in the Cell! With the nail continues. Oh my god! Randy Orton! WrestleMania was just the beginning, and I think Matt Riddle is looking for an end. The sledgehammer, the kick. These men will never be the same. Randy Orton not only is walking away without the WWE Championship, but he will be banished from Monday Night Raw. Matt Riddle retains the WWE Championship. It was back on February 10th that Karrion Cross and Sheamus fought to a double countout. But tonight, the rematch is finally on. After both men came up short in the number one contenders match at Backlash last night, these two warriors are looking to blow off some steam. It's Sheamus with Karrion Cross one on one in your main event tonight on Raw. We welcome you to the Raw After Backlash. We are live from the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. And we got a grudge match in the main event, but we got one open in the show as well. The Street Profits are up, and they want the smoke. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, on the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. We welcome you to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen, just 24 hours after an exciting Backlash pay-per-view, not too far from us in Minneapolis, Minnesota. To see the replay, it is available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But tonight we kick off the road to our next live premiere event, which we will have news upon later tonight on Raw. But kicking things off, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, who got a score to settle with Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. It was about a month ago that Montez Ford met Damian Priest in the first round of the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. Ford came up short, but after the matchup is what told the story, the Archer of Infamy ambushing Montez Ford at ringside and sending him crashing into the steel steps. And then 48 hours ago at our channel member exclusive WWE Live event, Montez went one-on-one -on -one with the other half of the Judgment Day and Finn Balor, and unfortunately was dominated by the Prince. And we're gonna take a look at those highlights and moments. But tonight here on Raw, 
It is a tag team affair as Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford look to settle the score once and for all with this new unit, Damian Priest, the Prince Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Day. Well, as we mentioned, it was 48 hours ago in Springfield, Illinois, WWE Live only available for channel members, Montez Ford one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor. And it was a dominating performance for the better part of the matchup by the Prince. And there you see a coup de gras to the outside of the ring, crushing the rib cage of Montez Ford and followed it up with another inside the squared circle to secure the victory. So Priest and Balor may own singles victories over Montez as of late, but tonight the Street Profits won that tag team victory. This is your first time we're gonna get a look at Priest and Balor side by side in a tag team match since they joined forces and formed the Judgment Day. Back in that, I guess, I guess you could say those couple weeks break between WrestleMania and the kickoff to a new season. God only knows how long they were plotting this new unit. But it's going to be a great night of action. Once again, we are live from the XL Energy Center here in St. Paul, Minnesota for Monday Night Raw, and we are underway. Montez Ford and Damian Priest, the two men who started this whole situation, will start off this matchup, and Priest unloading on Montez in the early going. And again, still to come tonight, a grudge match nearly two months in the making, over two months in the making. The Harbinger of Doom carrying cross the Celtic warrior Sheamus. And it's going to be a hard-hitting affair later tonight on Monday Night Raw. Thank you for joining us tonight. And again, if you did not see WWE Backlash live from Minneapolis last night, the replay is available right now. What a pay-per-view it was. What a way to kick off a new season here on WWE. And Montez Ford now taking control over Finn Balor. And almost a rock bottom there on the Priest. I should say the Prince, excuse me. You gotta wonder, Montez Ford's looking good right now, but what is the condition of Ford after that offense from Balor this past Saturday night? And look at this, Ford with a cross body to the outside, taking out Balor. Montez Ford's gotta be feeling it in the rib cage area after those double coup de gras just 48 hours ago in Springfield. And especially that one to the outside, the trajectory of Balor, the height on that collision. But nonetheless, no matter how much the pain Montez Ford may be feeling right now, he is here to fight and he is looking to, as we've already mentioned, settle the score with the Judgment Day. Balor back into the ring and a pay light kick by the Prince. Montez Ford out of the ring and there's Finn Balor following up the pay light kick with a Topekin Hilo over the top rope. You may not like the attitudes of Balor and Priest, but you certainly cannot knock their offense inside of the ring. Two incredibly gifted athletes, and certainly two dangerous competitors. This is the first time we are getting a look at them in tag team action, and so far, they are making a very cohesive unit here on Monday Night Raw. Montez down on the outside after that onslaught by Balor, and I'm sure the Prince would not mind a victory via countout tonight. As long as the Judgment Day is getting their hand raised, that's all they care about. Angelo Dawkins has got to be chomping at the bit to get in this matchup. This is really been a story of Montez versus Balor and Priest so far. And Angelo Dawkins wants to get in there, be by his tag team partner's side, and help him even the odds against the Judgment Day. Montez is trying to get back into this as he takes Balor down, and a super kick to the rib cage. Montez Ford looking to make Balor feel the pain he felt 48 hours ago in Springfield, and there's the tag to the big man of the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. Dawkins obviously with the size and strength advantage over the Prince. And Dawkins has got to be fired up tonight to do one good by his tag team partner, Montez Ford. Aller in the corner right now. Angelo Dawkins is obviously, his wheels are turning. Wait a minute here. Pounce! My goodness! Angelo Dawkins like a bat out of hell right now. Oh, but he just gets met with that discus elbow by Damian Priest. But Dawkins coming out swinging in this tag team matchup. 
the pounce to Finn Balor. Balor had no choice but to tag out before the Judgment Day was in trouble. Now the two bigger competitors of their team squaring off Damian Priest and Angelo Dawkins. A great tag team matchup this has been thus far to kick us off on Monday Night Raw as Priest takes down Dawkins. The action does not stop here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It's been an exciting weekend with WWE Live for our channel members in Springfield on Saturday night. Of course, the live premiere event of Backlash is 24 hours ago in Minneapolis. And Monday Night Raw live tonight from St. Paul, Minnesota. You're not going to want to miss any of the action. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out. Angelo Dawkins back in control. and Another tag made to Montez Ford. We are back where we started. And Damian Priest catching Montez off guard. That's a hard shot by the Archer of Infamy, who goes to the corner, but nobody's home. And now Ford, look at the muscle. Montez Ford's put on a lot of muscle in recent months, showcasing some of it there. And now another tag made to Angelo Dawkins, and a tag made to Finn Balor. Balor's still got to be feeling it off that pounce a few minutes ago. They're able to take Dawkins off his feet, at least for a moment. Remember last night at Backlash, the WWE World Tag Team Championships on the line. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet retaining in an absolutely incredible matchup against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And obviously, Ali and Ricochet a part of Friday Night SmackDown, but those World Tag Team Championships universal between both brands. So this is an opportunity here tonight for the Judgment Day and the Street Profits to get in the eyes of upper management as possible top contenders for Mustafa Ali and Ricochet's tag team gold. Nonetheless, Balor takes out Dawkins, and Dawkins just go to the outside to try to regain plan and get into this matchup. Balor right there awaiting him. Can't keep the Prince waiting. He's always got a blueprint. He's always got a strategy. He's always got an ace up the sleeve. And right now, Dawkins is feeling the wrath of Finn Balor. Dawkins is in trouble. He's got to get back into this matchup for the Street Profits, and there he goes. Whipping Balor off here, and able to take him off his feet. This is what Dawkins needs. This is what the Street Profits need. Keep the momentum going over the Judgment Day. Take him down, take him out for good, and even the odds once and for all in this rivalry that has progressed over the last month here on Raw. And now Dawkins into the cover. Balor able to get the shoulder up, but certainly some damage done. And now Dawkins gonna bring in the fresher competitor in Montez Ford. Balor's right there to cut him off. Montez Ford in Judgment Day territory right now. Not where he wants to be as the tag is made to the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. And a little double team there by the Judgment Day. And Montez all kinds of days to confuse. And Damian Priest sends him face first. And that may be all she wrote, but there's Angelo Dawkins to ensure that the pinfall does not happen. Balor taking Dawkins out of here. Wait a minute, Damian Priest going south of heaven on Montez Ford into the cover. No, Ford able to get the shoulder up. Montez survives. St. Paul, Minnesota coming unglued here. So we got a hell of a tag team match to kick things off tonight on Monday Night Raw. Montez somehow survives south of heaven. Balor off the swing blade. Balor going to the top rope, goes for the elbow, but Montez Ford gets out of the way and a tag made to the big man, Angelo Dawkins. And it's just like that, the momentum has shifted in this tag team matchup. And Dawkins, spear to Finn Balor, into the cover. Looking for the victory here, but Damian Priest breaks things up. They have caught the referee a little bit. The referee's got to get to his feet. Dawkins taking care of the Archer of Infamy, and now a tag made to Montez Ford. Street Profits trying to stay as fresh as they can. Fowler right there. There's a reversal by Ford, as this matchup has really taken on another level ever since Montez Ford rallied the troops and kicked out of that South of Heaven. Well, Balor's on spaghetti legs. Montez Ford's wheels are turning. Goes for the blockbuster, but Balor able to avoid it. And Balor takes Dawkins off the ropes. And a swing blade to Montez again. And then maybe Austin wrote from the Street Profits as Finn Balor's looking to put the final nail in the coffin of your opening match on Raw. 
into the cover, but Dawkins right there to ensure things don't even get to a one count. The Street Profits are working like a well-oiled well machine tonight, but the Judgment Day is all over Dawkins and Ford. Down goes Dawkins again. Montez Ford, collar and elbow on Balor. Oh, Balor avoids it. Nice counter by the Prince. Oh, wait a minute here. Stack it up, Montez. Schoolboy. And Balor stolen for the Judgment Day. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. And credit where it's due, the Street Profits pushing Priest and Balor to the absolute limits. Montez kicking out of that south of heaven. I thought it was it right there. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. The Judgment Day. Well, our first look at this new unit of Balor and Priest, certainly a dominating one. By hook or by crook, they walk away the victors tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute, the third member of Judgment Day, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Camera's cut into the back. She's ambushing the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, the woman who tapped her out seven nights ago here on Monday Night Raw. We need to get these two women separated. This is obviously an ambush by Rhea Ripley, who has not let up the fact that Natalia tapped her out last week here. Natalia's down. Oh, no. Rhea Ripley has grabbed a hold of that steel chair. And Natalia, we can't even see her right now, is behind all those electrical boxes and tables and a chair shot to Natalia. Rhea Ripley upset about last week's loss and she's taken it out of the woman who embarrassed her inside the squared circle last week here on Monday Night Raw. Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, May the 14th, we are heading to the north. Rogers Center, Vancouver, Canada, for WWE Vengeance. And after last night's backlash, the Beast Incarnate has secured the number one contendership. And for the first time ever, in the main event of Vengeance, Brock Lesnar will take on Matt Riddle. It's the Beast Incarnate versus the original bro for the WWE Championship. Riddle survived Hell in the Cell last night. Lesnar outlasted four other competitors. These two men will meet for the gold on May 14th at Vengeance. What a matchup that is going to be in just under a month's time. We continue Monday Night Raw from the St. Paul, Minnesota XL Energy Center with the man who came up short 24 hours ago to win the Intercontinental Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura. Looking to bounce back. He is set for a one-on-one -on -one action against the returning LA Knight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. As we mentioned just 24 hours ago at Backlash, the man who won the eight-man number one contenders tournament to qualify to face Ilya Dragunov last night, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Unfortunately, came up short in his efforts, not able to defeat the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Nakamura will live to fight another day, and I'm sure he hopes to get another chance at the Intercontinental Championship. But as for tonight, Nakamura's got his hands full with a man who was drafted to Monday Night Raw back in March. And for the first time since WrestleMania, the defiant loudmouth himself, L.A. Knight, is back in the ring, and he's making his very first appearance right here on Monday Night Raw. And here comes the man of the hour himself. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Well, earlier today, L.A. Knight took things to Twitter and had this to say. Tonight, I'm making my Raw debut. This is my first time in the ring since I sold the show at WrestleMania with The Rock. And I think after that amazing performance, it's time for LA Knight to hunt for some gold. Dragon off, I'm looking at you. Hashtag, yeah. LA Knight making a 
very bold statement when he hasn't even participated in a match in here on Monday Night Raw until right here tonight. Looks like LA Knight has got his eyes set on the Intercontinental Championship and the champion Ilya Dragunov. But he's got to focus on the matter of hand right now, that being the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, as this matchup gets set, LA Knight can gloat all he wants about having this big time spotlight match at WrestleMania. But remember, WrestleMania Sunday, LA Knight was the one who threw out the open challenge. He wanted to be on the card. It was accepted by none other than the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, the great one, The Rock, who defeated LA Knight at WrestleMania. So nonetheless, LA Knight may have lost at Mania. Yes, it was a big time match, but it's a clean slate tonight. He was drafted to Monday Night Raw last week, or excuse me, last month. And now it's his first matchup here on the red brand tonight. And as for Nakamura, looking to bounce back after last night's loss against Ilya Dragunov. No rest for the weary. Nakamura getting right back inside of the ring, ready to fight. Should be a great matchup between two very different styles. LA Knight has a little bit of everything in his arsenal. A little bit of strength, a little bit of speed, a little bit of agility. He's facing a guy who everybody knows is known as the king of strong style. One of the hardest hitting competitors inside of the Monday Night Raw locker room. Big time neck breaker from LA Knight as Nakamura gets back into the ring. Nakamura down and out. And again, this could easily be a matchup that determines the future number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Nakamura, even after coming up short last night, is still going to be high on the list of contenders. And LA Knight's looking to put his name in that hat. Off the power slam, goes for the cover, and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. And again, still to come tonight in your main event here in St. Paul, Minnesota. A grudge match over two months in the making. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus one-on-one -on -one with the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross. And I am sure that's going to be a slugfest of a main event. Hopefully we get a winner this time. Of course, two months ago, went to a double count out. We'll see what happens later tonight on Raw. But Nakamura, black hole slam on LA Knight. Nakamura looking to send LA Knight to the abyss. Now to the outside, things go. Looks like LA Knight was trying to get away from Nakamura, but Shinsuke going to make sure that this thing stays inside of the ring and Nakamura has his style of matchup wrestled. Look at LA Knight catching Nakamura off guard. What a maneuver right there. Spinning Nakamura inside out into the cover. Goes to Defiant Knight and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. LA Knight going to continue to put the pressure on Shinsuke Nakamura. Hanging him up on the top rope. A little bit of a snake guys there out of LA Knight. A man who again was drafted to Monday Night Raw back in March. Making his Raw debut tonight against the King of Strong Style. You know LA Knight was really... Having a rocky time on Friday Night SmackDown. Wanted to find his way on the WrestleMania so desperately that he put out that open challenge. At the end of the day, LA Knight could talk about how he wants to get an Intercontinental Championship match, this, that, and the other. But he's got to get it done inside of the ring and start getting some W's if he wants to do so. Wins and losses matter around these parts, especially when you want the main event, when you want the championship opportunities. And LA Knight's got to put his money where his, money where his mouth is, excuse me, and that's got to start here tonight on Raw. Couple of elbows there to Nakamura, going for a third and goes to the well too many times, and Nakamura was able to avoid it. And now Shinsuke has got LA Knight in the air. Death Valley driver by the King of Strong Style. Sits out with it, and LA Knight gets the shoulder up, but a close call there by Nakamura. Nakamura wants to bounce back after that loss to Ilya Dragunov last night. Got hit with that torpedo headbutt. It was enough to keep Nakamura down and out for the three count. And Nakamura wants another shot at the Intercontinental title and is willing to do anything it takes to get there. Nakamura heading to the top, but not keeping his eye on his opponent. LA Knight trying to knock Nakamura's balance, but there's Shinsuke with a shot. And LA Knight with a clothesline. Knight just stomping a mud hole in Shinsuke Nakamura. LA Knight looking to start a whole new tra trajectory for his career here on Raw. Another Lariat. And that time takes Nakamura off his feet. I put a little extra emphasis into that. And now off the second rope drops the Axe Hammer. And you gotta wonder after that physical matchup with Ilya Dragunov last night, a physical matchup with Cedric Alexander last week on Raw, and weeks 
worth of the number one contenders tournament. What is Nakamura's condition coming into this matchup? He's facing a man who hasn't been inside the ring since February 26th at WrestleMania. Nonetheless, Nakamura's gonna keep fighting until he can't fight no more. LA Knight gets caught up by Shinsuke and there's a knee to the gut. Nakamura does not feel pain, at least in this moment, absorbing the blows. Looking to take out LA Knight for good here tonight. LA Knight just trying to use the ropes on the outside of the ring to get to his feet, and there's a counter. This has really been back and forth for the majority of this contest. This athletic competition, if you will. They could have so much riding on the line when it comes to future Intercontinental Championship opportunities. And there's an uppercut by LA Knight. The Morris dazed LA Knight now whipping him off. And here comes the defiant Knight with the backdrop. Again, as we found out moments ago before this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, May 14th, 5 p.m. Eastern time for WWE Vengeance. Meanwhile, LA Knight may have just wrote the final chapter in this contest. Down goes Nakamura, but Shinsuke survives again. What a great matchup we got here on Monday Night Raw. It's already been a great night of action after an incredible backlash weekend. Nakamura somehow has still got energy left in that tank. But I don't know how for long Nakamura's in a precarious situation on top and LA Knight just dropping him on the top buckle. Nakamura's got to be feeling that one on the lower back and the spine and LA Knight's got his eyes locked on the King of Strong Style on the shoulders again. And Nakamura may be wishing he never made the trip to St. Paul, Minnesota. No, he kicks out again. Nakamura is fighting from underneath right now. He has kicked things into a new gear, and Shinsuke is motivated as all hell to bounce back after that loss at Backlash. LA Knight, Nakamura rolled to the outside. Knight gonna follow him, continuing the offense on the outskirts of the ring. I don't like these odds for Shinsuke Nakamura right now. But the King of Strong Style has proven anything. That's never bet against Shinsuke Nakamura. As even though he's down and out, he is still fighting in this matchup. Now trying to bounce back. Goes for a knee there. LA Knight from behind. Just gonna send Shinsuke right to the barricade. And LA Knight into the ring. Referee's at a count of six. And LA Knight don't give a damn. He'll take the count out victory and he'll walk out of here with a smile from ear to ear. Count of eight, Nakamura is on the verge of getting counted out right now. He's got to get back inside the squared circle. Count of nine. Nakamura's in. How the hell is he still fighting? LA Knight has thrown some of his best offense at Shinsuke Nakamura. He's kicked out and was on the verge of getting counted out right there, but made it in at the very last second. You see Shinsuke doesn't have all his wits about him right now, trying to throw shots, but LA Knight avoiding it. Dropped him with the DDT. Whips him off, there's an elbow. And LA Knight's gotta be racking his brain right now. What does he gotta do to put the King of Strong Style away tonight on Raw? Into the cover again by Knight. Will that do it? No, Nakamura gets the shoulder up and you see a bit of a lack of enthusiasm in that kick out. The tank's gotta be near an E, but Nakamura's still fighting. LA Knight ain't done by a long shot, but neither is Nakamura. Off the right hand, now Shinsuke goes behind, kick to the gut. Imagine if Nakamura can bounce back after all this offense and win this matchup. Goes for the King Shots, it looked like. LA Knight avoided it, but Nakamura with a couple of strikes. Knight to his feet. Nakamura right there on the offense. Imagine if Shinsuke Nakamura, out of all these hard-fought wins and losses as of last night over the last few weeks, can bounce back in this match against LA Knight. He's got him on the shoulders again. Going for the Death Valley driver. Knight counters and face first into the canvas goes Shinsuke Nakamura and he delivers a knee to Knight. St. Paul, Minnesota is coming unglued right now. Two incredible athletes in the ring, but I don't think anybody expected this fight, especially out of Nakamura, after just competing 24 hours ago at Backlash. 
And now LA Knight's got Nakamura on his shoulders again. Going for that reverse burning hammer into the cover. And that may be all she wrote. And that'll do it. LA Knight picks up the victory in his Raw debut. But man, Shinsuke Nakamura, absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. He threw everything he could at LA Knight, but obviously the weeks of hard-fought matches inside of that ring, especially last night at Backlash, catching up to the King of Strong style, and LA Knight took advantage to the fullest. Here is your winner, LA Knight! Well, first victory for LA Knight on Monday Night Raw, and he got to wonder after his comments earlier today in the win tonight, is LA Knight next in line to challenge Ilya Dragunov for the Inner Continental Championship? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues tonight in Minnesota as Tyler Bates set to go one-on-one -on -one with Cameron Grimes, plus the New Day's Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods meet Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin. And the results of those contests see Tyler Bate getting his hand raised against Cameron Grimes, plus the New Day pick up the tag team victory over Corbin and Mad Cat Moss. We are back live on Monday Night Raw from the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. And Dana Brooks set for action against the most dominant woman in WWE history, the Empress of Tomorrow and the WWE Women's Champion of the World. And from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, 24 hours ago in Minneapolis, Asuka stepped foot into that very ring. She was in a five-woman elimination challenge. She defeated Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Natalia, and Becky Lynch all in one shot on one night and retained the women's championship that not only she has held for the better part of the last year, but that she has dominated with each and every time she steps foot into the ring. If last night didn't do the trick, if four challengers at once didn't dethrone Asuka, quite frankly, I don't know who the hell is gonna step up and take on this woman and even have a chance at taking the women's championship from the Empress grasp. She was the women's Money in the Bank winner almost a year ago. She cashed it in at SummerSlam last year, held the championship from June to November, lost the title at Survivor Series, won it right back on January 1st after that small blemish on the record, and Asuka has not been touched ever since. And here tonight, Asuka set to go one-on-one -on -one with Dana Brooke, and I mean, no disrespect, but I don't really like Dana Brooke's chances right now against the WWE Women's Champion. Nonetheless, Asuka going for the cover immediately off those kicks. Dana will get the shoulder up, but I don't know. I mean, again, I don't want to disrespect Dana Brooke, but a kick out may have just may have just been delaying the inevitable. But Asuka will certainly keep the offense going. She's got no problem inflicting punishment. Does the women's champion. And just last night, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan. Asuka owns victories over Bianca Belair, Shotzi, Tegan Knox. I mean, she has defeated them all over the better part of the last year. And she is just putting a whooping on Dana Brooke right now. And there's a kick, and I think we know what comes next. Hip attack by the champion. And it's pretty much academic at this point. And that's a quick victory for the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka picking up the win tonight here on Raw, as if there is any question about it. Thanks for coming, Dana Brooke. Better luck next time. Here is your winner, Asuka! I don't know who is going to step up to that woman next for the Women's Championship.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks ago. The WWE Champion, Matt Riddle, of course, was ambushed by the street champ, Sola Sokoa, a man who is paid off by the Viper, Randy Orton, to put, so, put a whoop it, if you will, do some damage on Matt Riddle prior to Backlash. Well, after Matt Riddle's win last night, he took to Twitter and had this to say. Last night, I finally put to rest my issues with Randy, but I still have one more score to settle before I defend my title against Brock Lesnar. Solo Sokoa, paid off or not, you tried to end my career, and now I'm going to end yours before it even gets started. Matt Riddle does not forgive, and he certainly does not forget. He showed that at Hell in a Cell 24 hours ago. And next week, right here on Monday Night Raw, Matt Riddle does not forgive, and he does not forget about what Sol Sokoa tried to do to him. The street champ is in action, one-on-one -on -one against the WWE champion, Matt Riddle, live next week on Monday Night Raw. We are back inside the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota, and it is main event time. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, bringing an eerie presence over Monday Night Raw. This is a grudge match over two months in the making. And Karrion Cross has had a dominant run for the most part. He came up short last night in the five-man elimination challenge, as did Sheamus. And now these two bulls set to lock horns yet again. And we want to take you back to two months ago, February the 10th here on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus and Karrion Cross one-on-one in the main event. And after a brawl at ringside, the two men were counted out, a double count out, leading to a no contest between Cross and Sheamus. Really, after the matchup told the story as Karrion Cross pissed off at the result, ambushing the Celtic Warrior and beating him up all around ringside. This, of course, was the kickoff to Rob Van Dam interfering, and which led to Karrion Cross versus RVD back at WrestleMania in the Extreme Rules match, and even the WrestleMania rematch falls can anywhere a few weeks ago here on Raw. But Sheamus and Karrion Cross have not forgotten about February 10th and now. Two months later, April the 17th here on Monday Night Raw, they're looking to run things back and hopefully for all of our sakes, this time we get a winner. Karrion Cross and Sheamus gotta be fuming after coming up short in the five-man elimination challenge last night. Brock Lesnar, the new number one contender for the WWE Championship, he will meet Matt Riddle May 14th at Vengeance in Vancouver, Canada. But all eyes are focused on this evening. Your main event of the Raw after Backlash. It's been a hell of a night of action inside of that ring. And it is set to continue with this big time main event. High stakes, high reward grudge match. The Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross with Scarlet in his corner versus the Celtic Warrior Sheamus with of course his new protege, Rich Holland, backing him as well. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that music means one thing. Monday Night Raw has officially become Fight Night. Sheamus is here, and he's set for a fight in your main event. And his opponent, accompanied by Rich Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Sheamus carrying cross, it's like letting two bulls out of the cages and letting them fight. This is going to be a slugfest if February 10th, a few months ago on Raw, is any preview. We know these two men are ready to beat the hell out of each other, especially after the result the first time around. This is going to be a good one here in your main event. St. Paul, Minnesota getting treated to a grudge match. Karrion Cross, Sheamus, one-on-one. -on -one. Ring the bell. Let them fight. And here we go. Ridge Holland in the corner of Sheamus. Scarlet in the corner of Karrion Cross. And hopefully they just stay out of harm's way. Because these two warriors are about to lock horns and take this thing all around St. Paul, Minnesota, if need be. No collar and elbow tie-ups in this one. These guys are going for the jugular. Karrion Cross takes down Sheamus and a stomping on the hand of the Celtic Warrior. 
Remember last week here on Monday Night Raw in the lead up to Backlash 24 hours ago, Karrion Cross forced to team up with Kevin Owens as they took on Sheamus and Bobby Lashley. Kevin Owens pinning Lashley in that tag team matchup. Sheamus and Cross not a part of the equation. But obviously we got a little preview of these two men locking horns last week and of course last night as well. But tonight is the night they've really been waiting for since February 10th, and that's the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And hopefully this thing does not go to another double count out. Hopefully we get a winner tonight. Fair and square between these two warriors. Sheamus delivering the knees to carry and cross in the corner. A little bit of bite into the forehead if need be. Sheamus don't give a damn how he keeps down cross. He just wants his hand raised. Now Sheamus, a little uncharacteristic out of the textbook of the Celtic Warrior on the top rope and a shoulder block to take down Cross. Into the cover again. Will that do it? And Cross gets the shoulder up. A great night of action it has been here on the Raw after Backlash. Thank you all for joining us yet again. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. The action never stops here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. We will be back Friday night on SmackDown as the road to May 14th Vancouver Canada Vengeance continues. Ross beating down on Sheamus right now after that spear. And you see, we were only about, what, two minutes into this thing. Right off the bell, these guys are throwing haymakers. It's been back and forth ever since. And this is clearly going to be a matchup of who is simply the last man standing here tonight on Raw. Frost delivering some stiff elbow shots to the Celtic Warrior. Now back on the offense. Look at this, just again. Cross is just using those taped fists, those closed fists, to beat the piss out of the Celtic Warrior. And oh no, Saito to Sheamus! And Karrion Cross may have just ended things early. And Sheamus to his feet, counters whatever Karrion Cross had in mind, and now Sheamus going tit for tat right now. Down goes Cross! Even in the playing field, at least for the moment, Scarlett's on the apron trying to get Sheamus' eye off the ball, but the Celtic Warrior is laser focused on carrying Cross tonight. Tilt to World Backbreaker takes down Cross, and Cross, no choice, trying to use the ropes to get to his feet, but Sheamus makes the ropes become a disadvantage to the opponent, sending him over the top rope and down to the ground. And the fight gonna continue on the outside just where we left off February 10th on, Mo on, Mo on Raw, excuse me. And hopefully things make their way back inside the ring. Do not want to see another double count out or dare I say a disqualification in some way, shape, or form. And that was a crazy sequence moments ago. Carrying Cross with the Saido suplex. Pick shame. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Carrying Cross. Has got this triangle choking on Sheamus on the outside. Obviously, even if Sheamus taps out, it won't give Carry Cross the victory at ringside, but damage is going to be done, and Sheamus avoids it. Able to get out of the clutches of Cross, and I'll send him into the barricade. This is a physical confrontation tonight. Referees at a count of eight. Do not want to see this thing go to a count out in any way, even if it's just one man getting counted out. Referee, I believe, is at a count of nine right now. Karrion Cross makes it back into the ring, and Sheamus awaiting the Harbinger of Doom. And oh no, I think we know what comes next. Sheamus has got his opponent locked, looking for the 10 beat to the boundrum. Oh, and he just cuts himself off halfway through the numbers. And just does a closed fist to the side of the head across. Cross is trying to get to his feet. He definitely had his bell rung there by Sheamus. There's a counter by Karrion Cross. Another shot. Oh no, oh no. Karrion Cross looking for the straight jacket submission hold. Could have been looking for this earlier. Sheamus avoided it. But Karrion Cross has got it locked in tight. Almost dead center of the Monday Night Raw ring. And Sheamus has got no choice but to tap out. Well, it wasn't a long fight, but it was certainly a bruising one. Whether you like Karrion Cross or not, he is the last man standing, and he won that one fair and square against Sheamus. The bell rung, and these two bulls went at each other full steam ahead, but in the end, Karrion Cross tapping out the Celtic Warrior in your main event tonight from St. Paul, Minnesota, on Monday Night Raw.
Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. A big time victory for Karrion Cross, and what does the future hold for the Harbinger of Doom? We are on the road to Sunday night, May 14th, Vancouver, Canada. The next live premiere event, Vengeance. And we will be back this Friday night on SmackDown to continue the road to our next live premiere. And we'll be back next Monday night on Raw as the street champ Sol Sokoa goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Matt Riddle. Thank you for joining us for this incredible Backlash weekend. We'll see you this Friday night on SmackDown. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.